Hi, Merry Christmas from Rose and Bonnie at Bighorn Library again. I know we already did our Merry Christmas video last week, but so many people sent us messages asking about the bulletin board that we decided we would do another one today. Um, now I have to confess right up front, I have nothing to do with the bulletin board. My specialty is uh, crafts for people who are still learning to use scissors. Bonnie is the one who's really, really good at this kind of thing, and she makes us absolutely stunning uh, bulletin boards all the time. She made all of these beautiful doilies or uh, snowflakes that are, are going around the edge, and they come from patterns from this book, Paper Hearts Made Easy by Robert P. Kelly, and it's full of uh, templates that you can run off and then make beautiful things with. And we save these from year to year. They aren't all done in one year. She doesn't spend, you know, a month doing this. It's, uh, they get tucked away to be bought out every winter. And here's some extra kind of cool things that she's done with them. This one has an old CD stuck on the back of it, so it has a nice iridescent glow to it. This one has got my favorite craft supply on it, the, uh, the glitter. This one has just got some blue on the background from a piece of construction paper. And there's just a plain one. There's the little tiny hearts. Now the big, the big one, which is the one that everybody asks instructions for, is what I'm going to try to do for you now. So bear with me. I'll try not to get really silly. Um, you need first, of course, to, um, to make pieces of paper into perfect squares. That's the starting point. And everybody, I think, knows how to do that. Take the piece of paper, fold it cornerwise, and then cut off the extra bit. And now you have a square piece of paper. Kept folded diagonally, and you want to put lines onto this paper. I'm going to do them very heavily so that you can see them on the camera. Like this. And like that. And even now I have to confess that I'm cheating because Bonnie actually put faint lines on for me to follow. Oh, she didn't do that one. Now I'm having a panic attack. Okay, there we go. So here's what it's going to look like before you cut it. That's the pattern you're going to follow. Very straightforward. This is one which has already been cut. And you can take it, now you take it, I'm going to get my tape, you could certainly use glue, but for being quick while we're on camera, I'm going to use a piece of tape for this. I'm rolling the first little triangles one direction. Then I'm going to turn it all over and roll the next ones the other direction, like this. Turning it back over. one more piece of tape and this is what you end up with. Very pretty. And I'm going to take a break right now in proceedings and show you this because Bonnie felt that if you wanted to cut much narrower lines through there you would end up with a far prettier product or at least a far more intricate product. And this is what it looks like if you put in um, one, two, three, four instead of two cuts. The last thing to do is to make it into the big, beautiful shape. And these have all been just taken together end to end and stapled right there. And I'm going to take the last one and line up the point with the other one, just like I was lining up two pieces of fabric or something, and stapling it. And now I'm going to show you a really nice little product called glue dots, which we buy at the dollar store. Glue dots are very handy for crafts that are a little more sophisticated than what you would use a glue stick for. Here's what they look like. And Bonnie will tell you that I nearly stuck myself to the checkout counter over there earlier. But in spite of that, I'm going to persevere and show you how to do this. Here's a glue dot, and I'm going to put it right here where the, where the pieces of paper cross over one another. And then I'm going to stick these two together. Now there's only one more step. I'm going to call for another glue dot. Right 
here, and right here, and ta-da! A very beautiful three-dimensional snowflake, and you can see how lovely they look on here. And if you had the time, you could make them with this, and I think it would be even more beautiful. Once again, I wish you Merry Christmas from everyone in Exshaw.